welcome everybody to my art room. I'm going to do a bloom today. Just going to do another tile. So this is just my white house paint. something in there and there, well, there was okay I got some orange magenta Prussian blue and gold Let's see how these turn out um, Or should I put on the bottom? I haven't used these paints in a while, so they're probably thick. Got some, uh, actually, maybe I'll use row. Oops, how was that ever separated? I got some rose gold. Maybe I'll use a bit of that. bit thick. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Alright. And then I got some Orange. This is Amsterdam. Then I think I'll do the Prussian blue, which is thick, because I just made this one. This is a Grumbacher. I just bought this today. And then I am going to use the magenta on the top. I don't have much left. Have to make some more. Oops, this is probably too much paint for this little tile. And I think I'll use my black cell activator. I have Payne's Gray. I'm going to use some Payne's Gray cell activator. Just a tinge of water.
That's pretty. A little deep there, but... <clears throat> Very pretty. So I'll let the middle come back. close up there it's coming back in so while we're waiting um please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this hit the bell for notifications and you'll get notified when I do a new video you won't miss one I'm getting close to 70,000 subscribers. Comment below if you uh, have any questions or anything you'd like to ask me. And at the end of this video, there'll be the dried result. Gonna have a look still stuck there in the middle right where that white is it's not moving some of this paint off. Gotta be careful not to blow too hard in the middle and I guess I guess I got it too hard. Doesn't want to move. Well, your bubble popped. I'm gonna spin it. Try and center it.
I'm going to see if I can get some more of that white off on the other side, and then I'll spin it again. Gorgeous. I don't, want, I don't want any more of this to come off, so I'm going to tip it this way. The colors. Woo! Who knew? I got to do these colors again. Magenta and Prussian blue and orange. Woo! So pretty. Let's see if this is moving at all. might leave some of that white. Be hard to pick this up now. Usually I you know what happened to my picture? Okay, my battery is running low, so I'm going to have to end this. I'm just going to take it down for a close-up. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at those rich colors. I love it. I'm going to do another bigger one with these colors. Stay tuned for the dry results. Bye-bye, Bye -bye. everybody. It's Carol here in my art room. I've got a couple of dried results that I'm going to show you. This is a little four by four tile that I did. I think it turned out awesome. I just love these colors. It dried nice and smooth. You can see lots of pretty cells. So then I thought, well, I like these colors. I'm gonna try a bigger one. So this is today, this is the end of today's video for this one. And then coming up soon after will be this one. <clears throat> Another one that I did with similar colors. Put it this way, this way. Look at those cells, aren't they pretty? There's quite a lot of orange in this one. But anyways, I just love how it turned out. This is a bloom, bloom that I spun. Well, I spun both of them, actually. So, yeah. Dried awesome. So smooth. And it's shiny. You can see some sparkle in here. From the gold. Okay.
that's uh, two dried results that you've seen. So come back to my art room and uh, you'll see more of my paintings. Hit the bell and you'll get notified when I do a new painting and you won't miss one. Have a good day and up above there should be some squares with uh, playlists for blooms and you can see more blooms. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.